Hello there, welcome to today's video. Today we have a highly unusual January severe weather threat for Ohio and neighbouring parts of the Midwest. There is a level 3 out of 5 enhanced risk in place today, exclusively for Ohio, with a slight risk stretching into eastern Indiana and western Pennsylvania. This threat is being driven exclusively by significant damaging wind, with gusts in excess of hurricane force up to 80 miles an hour likely in the risk region today. The, the main risk will start around 3 p.m. Eastern Time and last until 7 p.m. Eastern Time, with the focus of that risk starting in the western part of Ohio and transitioning through the state as the event progresses. Thunderstorms will likely die out, coincident with sunset, as the storms move into Pennsylvania. Tornadoes will be possible with the line of storms, but the threat posed by them is not significant today due to the time of year, meaning much cooler conditions than you would see in spring or summer just not as much energy available for the tornadoes, but the moisture is sufficient for a significant damaging wind threat. Here is the setup today, and the reason why the moisture is sufficient is that major cold front pushing through the eastern US. It's providing a lot of additional energy with the boundary between the relatively moist air and the, with a bit of heat to it, and the cold air behind it. That boundary is providing lots of energy for the thunderstorms that's going to be driving the hurricane force wind gusts today. Farther north, there is some snow happening in the Midwestern US and unfortunately some freezing rain happening in parts of Canada and the Northeast US. Once again, there is an enhanced risk in place today with persistent and intense thunderstorms moving through Ohio. They're not particularly widespread. It is a fairly focused corridor almost exclusively within the state of Ohio but that does not mean the threat is any less. If you are in that corridor, and there are a lot of people in this risk region, several million, you do need to be prepared. And here is the four panel outlook. As you can see that enhanced risk again, exclusively in Ohio, with a slight risk extending into a small part of the neighboring states. A low tornado threat, only 2%. Again, only a 5% hail threat, low as well. The main threat, and the threat you should be most focused on today, is the 30% hatched risk region for those hurricane force wind gusts. There are multiple metropolitan areas in this risk, and if you are anywhere in or near the risk, you need to be prepared. Now, here is the latest HRRR output showing what will happen. Those thunderstorms fire rapidly in eastern, Ohio, eastern Indiana and northern Kentucky before moving through Ohio and into Pennsylvania. The risk will not last for a particularly long amount of time in any one location, the thunderstorms will be moving rapidly, so you don't have to take too much time out of your day to shelter, but it is worth sheltering as the line moves through. You don't know if some debris will hit your window and throw glass into your face. You certainly don't want to be in a car while this line moves through, as there is likely to be flying debris. And here is how you can prepare. As soon as that watch is issued, you want to be getting ready, you want to know where you're going to take shelter, and if there's any last minute preparations you can make, you should take them as soon as the watch is issued. Once the thunderstorm warning happens, time is up and you need to take shelter immediately, because the danger of severe weather is about to arrive at your location. There is likely to be some lightning with the thunderstorms, as with any thunderstorm, it is in the name. And if there, you hear thunder, you need to take shelter as soon as possible because lightning can strike far away from the storm. Even if it's not raining, you can be struck by lightning and they cause preventable deaths all around the world every year. You don't want to be a statistic. Stay safe. As I mentioned earlier, there are plenty of ways that you can prepare before this line of damaging wind moves through. You want to move any loose objects inside, such as chairs, tables, umbrellas, trampolines if possible. If you can't put them inside, tie them to something secure. Even a couple of zip ties might do, be, it will be better than nothing. Um, any poles outside like a light street pole or a tree, it's the ideal thing to tie object to if you can't put it inside. And you want to be doing this well before the storms arrive. As soon as that watch is issued is the last chance you have to make these preparations. And once you hear thunder or a warning is issued for your location, you need to get inside and stay safe until the storms have moved past your location. If you tune into local media, they will give you the all clear once the line has moved through your location. Once you get the all clear from your local meteorologist, that's when you're safe to go back to doing the rest of your day. 
There is the outside chance of a tornado for your location if you're in the Rift region today with that 2% outlined for Ohio. If a tornado warning is issued for your location, take your tornado, prepare, take your tornado plan immediately. Seek shelter in an interior room, a basement if you have one, always away from windows if at all possible. You don't want to be in a mobile home in a tornado warning and you certainly don't want to be in a car either. You want to seek sturdy shelter if you're on the road during a tornado warning. But given the advanced warning of this line and the fairly well forecast propagation of this line through Ohio, you shouldn't be on the road as it arrives. As always, if you have any questions, you can join us on our server on Discord and we'll be happy to answer anything you need to know. Please stay safe today. Thank you.